I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw and label a tsunami. I'm going to start way over here on the left hand side. Let's do two fingers right above put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a slightly curved line up, keep going, off the page. On this right hand side I'm going to draw a curved line curve line. Come back to this end and I'm just going to go zigzag, zigzag, connect, zigzag, zigzag, connect, zigzag, zigzag, connect. Inside I'm just going to draw little curved lines going down. Right next to it I'm going to draw straight line, straight line, come inside, zigzag, 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 connect, Zigzag, 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 connect. Zigzag, 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 connect. Inside. Little curved lines all the way down. Right next to that, I'm going to draw one, two straight lines. One, two straight lines. Straight line across. Right on top, I draw one, two, three straight lines little curved line inside. Right above I'm going to put in the center a dot and from that dot on the left I draw straight diagonal curved line in. On the right straight diagonal curved line in. I come back over here to the right and I'm going to draw a wavy 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 line up, down, keep going wavy wavy line and connect. I come above that and I'm going to draw curve line up, out, up, down, and leave it floating. And above that I'm going to draw big curve line up, down, up, down, keep going, keep going, keep going, and leave it floating. All right. Now we're ready. First off, tsunami. T S U N A M I. Tsunami. Squiggle. All right. Starting over here on the left hand side, I'm going to just do a wavy line down, wavy line up, connect. And next to it, I'm going to do a tighter one wavy line down, wavy line up, connect. I'm going to put a number one because what causes a tsunami initially is an earthquake below the ocean. If it's not an earthquake, it can also be an underwater volcano. Yes, there can be volcanoes under the water. Okay, so number one is the earthquake below the ocean. Number two is right above it and once the earthquake hits the next thing that happens is that the ocean floor for whatever reason cracks. And when that happens it sends out bursts of energy all the way towards up into the ocean water. Number three, once the ocean water is hit with that energy, it pulls way, way back from this part right here, the shoreline from the shore. So the earthquake hits below the ocean, the ocean floor cracks, sends out energy, straight line, triangle, straight line, 
triangle, which makes the ocean water pull away, way, way, way back from the shore. Okay? Number four. Watch the arrows. Now, the ocean wave comes back comes back as a giant wave. Okay, now to show the power of the energy, we're going to draw curve line triangle. This is showing you the energy of the wave. Curve line triangle. Curve line triangle. Curve line triangle okay it's going to hit the shoreline this is this little community part right here and it hits it hard so I'm going to draw wavy line there wavy line here I'm going to draw another wavy line triangle another straight line triangle in between wavy line triangle is hitting it hard, okay? Number five. The tsunami is an extreme wave that hits the shore. And in between here, I'm gonna put wavy line, triangle, wavy line, triangle, so you can see up above, wavy line, triangle. Hits hard, okay? So you start down here with the earthquake, then the ocean floor cracks, releases all this energy. The ocean water pulls way, way, way back from the shore. Then it comes back as a giant wave and the extreme wave hits the shore. All right, let's see how we're gonna color this in. Okay, when you have a drawing that has a lot of words and a lot of labeling, you keep it very simple. So I'm gonna do these spaces, yellow, green. I'm going to do this space, brown, this little space, brown, and I'm going to do this space, brown. Keep it simple. Okay? Then, I'm going to use a multicultural crayon and color in this space, apricot. Okay. The most important part is using your red. And really all you're doing is emphasizing the energy and the movement. So my tips of my triangles on all my arrows, very important because they're showing you the movement. So I don't want to geek it up with a lot of other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and use my red so that you can follow the energy of this extreme wave. And it is extreme. Okay? So all of those little triangles, and if you want to add more, go for it. As long as you have them all going so that you know where they're headed for. Okay? Then I'm going to use blue-green for my ocean. And I just come in, because this is all the activity going on in the water. So I'm going to redo some of my lines so that you can see it's ocean water. This is all ocean, but you don't want to color it so much that you lose your labels. So you want to be kind of careful where you put this blue-green. But it is the ocean water. So go ahead and follow the, follow the, um, 
lines you've already drawn to represent that activity in the ocean. And like I said, you can add more using your arrows for emphasis of color. Okay? And I'd leave it alone. I would not really put anything else on there because you don't want to take away from your drawing. So add that ocean wherever you can. All right, let's see what this looks like. I think that's all. All colored in. Okay, here is my tsunami all colored in and labeled. The extreme wave can be taller than a house. When it hits the shore, it can flood everything. But they can sometimes know through detection, scientific detection of underwater earthquakes and volcanoes, so they can warn everybody to get to higher ground. Okay, bye-bye.